So sometimes when we, when we classify what type of colitis a patient has, we usually classify it by how extensive the involvement of their colon is. Ulcerative colitis may have distribution in different portions of the large intestines. By definition, ulcerative colitis starts at the very end of the colon and can extend farther towards the beginning by any different amount. Some people have just the rectum involved, we call that ulcerative proctitis. Some people have the rectum and then the next segment of colon involved, we call that proctosigmoiditis. The next uh, group of people it extends farther up into the uh, descending colon uh, and we call that left-sided colitis. And then, in some people, the entire colon is involved, and we call that pancolitis. There's also no correlation between how the extent of involvement of colon and how severe it is. Some people may have very severe colitis, even though it's only a few centimeters. Some people may have very mild colitis involving the entire colon. And so all of these parameters kind of move independently from each other. And that part of why that is, is really just not very well understood right now. Sometimes patients hear this diagnosis of ulcerative colitis and they think this is the end of the world. Things have improved dramatically and um, the vast majority of people will be totally in remission and, uh, and, and happy and healthy and unbothered by this for the rest of their life.